All right, hello and welcome. I'm Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. And thank you so much for watching this. Today, I wanna to talk about a situation that, um, that in our office, we call it an asylum takeover. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is if you've already filed asylum, or perhaps you filed an asylum you know, with a different law firm, yeah, maybe you filed by yourself, maybe you filed with a different law firm, doesn't matter. But now you want to change something about it. You want to file new amendments or there's something that's happened in your life or your previous law firm that helped you file for asylum, uh, you're not able to communicate with them anymore. Or, you know, you really are um, nervous that the original application wasn't done fully, completely, adequately, or very well. And now you want a new lawyer to take over, all right, and to uh, jump in and, and really build the case uh, in a more professional way. And so I want to I talk about that because a lot of people hire our office for this service, all right? And we have cases that, you know, um, the asylum office is, is very messed up. Let's just put it that way. The asylum office is very messed up right now in, uh, I'm filming this in 2020, and um, it's not just the coronavirus, right? Asylum regulations have been changing. Um, even when they started doing the last in first out rule, uh, which was, I believe in January of 2018, when that happened, um, it was like, okay, now all of the old cases that were filed before that happened, December 2017 and backwards, are now just like, sitting there waiting and many of those cases have been waiting and waiting and waiting for a long time and there's almost no end in sight all right but if you're in that situation and if you're thinking huh you know maybe my case wasn't handled very well then like let's use this time to request all those records to study the case thoroughly to do what we can to make it as strong as possible for when your case is called in for an asylum interview because you know asylum uh you know it's a it's no joke and you want to make sure that your asylum case and your asylum arguments are as thorough as possible as professional as possible as clear as possible you want to make sure the declaration on your case was was complete all right uh, and really made your case make sense so that by the time the asylum office uh, really looks at it, they, uh, they can make a decision. They can make a decision and hopefully a favorable decision and, and move your case forward, all right? So that's it. I wanted to explain what an asylum takeover is. And if you were working with an office in the past and if it wasn't working for you, or if they're not communicating with you, or if there's some other issue, right? You filed on your own and you're nervous that it wasn't done properly. You know, we can start slow and we can request all the records and we can do a full analysis of everything that was submitted in the past and see what could be done, all right? It's just basically, you can start with uh, basically a second opinion or a legal review of everything that was on file uh, and then go from there and see if you really want to uh, uh, retain a new lawyer. See if it even makes sense, quite honestly, to retain a new lawyer. Maybe the case is, is uh, uh, submitted very well, right? And maybe everything's looking good. You don't need to do anything else. And so, uh, so anyway, I just wanted to address that. Um, there's a lot of people that call our office with this concern. And it's like, hey, what do you do if there's an asylum case that's been pending for a long time? Uh, can you do amendments? Can you take it over? Can you fix things that were in there? And the answer is yes, yes to all of that. And not only can we, but we really should, because you want to make sure that you're maximizing your chances of success, um, because asylum, it's getting harder and harder, you know, and that's the reality. So uh, thank you for watching this. I hope it was helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up here on YouTube. Um, and really, I wish you the very best of luck with your asylum case. I'm Otis Landerholm. Lander Home Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. Thank you. Bye-bye.